<laughs> okay, detox is better. Yeah. Uh, so this is a very, very delicious soup. In uh, the April issue, I oh, it. I love this issue. Do you have it already? I'm so, yes. so excited. Yeah. This is so beautiful. It's on newsstands today. Um, and audience, by the way, you're all getting a copy so that you can uh, enjoy it. <laughs> and this is... This is one of our, uh, I like this issue because look at the back cover yeah. is beauty. And inside are, are five real beautiful women, um, friends, friends of mine, who I think are especially beautiful, ranging in age from, I think, 24 up. Nice. But uh, real women. Um, but inside is this wonderful vegetable stock. And five, uh, three soups, I think three soups that you can make from uh, a very simple vegetable stock. It takes 30 minutes to That's make. That's cool because you know? I don't, uh, stocks for me, and I love to cook, but a stock is, it's a little bit of a mystery to me. I never know how long to, Well, no you know. meat. This is good because yeah. this is no meat, very healthy. So here you have carrots, leeks, celery, uh, onion, parsley. Uh, chop that all up. Cook it for 30 minutes with some peppercorns. And that's, here's the stock. But, okay, then how much water do you put in there? Oh, oh just about six or eight cups. Okay. And uh, you have that. You cook the yellow lentils in the six cups of vegetable stock. So we're going to just put that in here. Oh, wait, we should first. And yellow lentils. I've made lentil soup before with red lentils. They, they oh. Yellow and red cook faster, yes, right? Yes, they do. Green? They're softer, yes. Okay. And then the green and then the brown take the longest. Right. Uh, so brown, um, coriander, a teaspoon of... I'm trying to of show dry off that coriander. That knowledge. Yes. Well, you, you know a lot. You travel all over the world. You've been, <laughs> I read your bio, you've been a lot of places well, in a very short period of time. So the coriander spice and then one and a half cups of yellow lentils. Okay. And just stir that around with about a, a teaspoon of safflower oil. Oh, safflower oil. Yeah. Oh, nice. I've never yeah, touched that. And six cups of that tasty vegetable stock. I mean, I like vegetable stock a lot. Me too. And uh, having a vegetarian daughter, she, you know, she uses only vegetable stock. Congratulations, by on the, the way. On the granddaughter, yeah. I don't know if she's going to be a vegetarian or not. <laughs> she's eating. She wants. To, she wants to eat oranges, and she's not even six days old. Wow. Yeah, she's she's, she's got great. a palate already. And then in the soup, when you serve it, you make a chutney. This is kind of an odd chutney because it's uh, coriander, um, just leaves, like a half a cup. Um, two teaspoons of ginger grated. Okay. So that goes is into... Is it hard to find fresh coriander? No, no, that's cilantro. Oh, cilantro. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Same there thing. Are, there, I just failed, guys. I uh, failed. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I sometimes call it coriander, but it's really cilantro as we know it in the okay. grocery store. T a tablespoon of lime juice. Okay. And two teaspoons of saf safflower oil. That's one, two, and a teaspoon of salt. You can put that in. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I know, I'm not Your very big good. job. Right, I'm not really good at multitasking. Okay. Um, I'm good at dishing out orders. Usually it's myself and my husband is the sous chef. Oh, yes. Uh, so you both cook a lot? We, we do. I, I'm the one who sort of barks out the orders to him. <laughs> You're not cutting it right. <laughs> and you just blend this until it's all creamy, like, almost like a pesto. Yeah. But, but we call it a chutney. Sure. And then here's the soup. Ooh, that looks so good. Uh, it uh, cooks for about 30 minutes, but look how nice and thick. It looks like a really great yellow lentil soup. Yeah, it's so hearty. Yes, it's beautiful. And here, I'll give you some. This is tasty. Thank you. And a little of the broth. And then you can garnish with the some of the chutney. Thank and you. some uh, celery, uh, some cucumbers. Look at the color of that. Isn't it pretty? It's gorgeous. Yeah. And almonds, and I think you'll like it a lot. Oh, um, but to roast the cauliflower, people always say, "Oh, I can't. I, roasted vegetables are so hard." I don't know why they think that. Yeah. But here we've cut a whole cauliflower into florets. Okay. That's a little floret. Does it matter if they're all different sizes, or no, do you no, want to aim you, to? You can't get them all perfect because right. um, cauliflowers aren't perfect. So, um, so just add about two tablespoons of olive oil, and you mm. can mix this right on the baking sheet. Even though the recipe says do it in a bowl, why lose some of the olive oil? Yeah. I'm changing my recipe. <laughs> you can do this. Yes. I do this with broccoli at home, too. Oh, yeah. You it's, can it's roast like broccoli, asparagus, so um, yeah. carrots, uh, turnips, anything. Yeah. Salt and pepper. And toss that. Put it in a preheated oven um, and for about 25 minutes, 425 degrees. Okay. So it's so easy. Just spread this out. Yeah. And it will brown light, nicely. And when you let it cool, um, Jennifer, just... Let it cool, and this, okay. is, this is what it looks like. Yeah, that that's is perfectly a, how browned. pretty, right? It's so gorgeous. Taste it. Yeah, yeah taste thank it. you. 
It's very tasty. Good. Oh, not too, got that crunchiness. Yeah, crunchy, but not not tough. Mm hmm So, mm -hmm. Um, so we're gonna add. Oh, you you make up the vinaigrette oh. for us, please. Okay. okay. So we have um, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, mm -hmm. and now you can add the vinegar, mm. apple cider vinegar. Right. So you're in New York now. Um, so uh, doing you're doing the show from New York. I'm doing the show in L.A., but I'm I love New York. Here you have so, to work. Oh, sorry. While you talk. <laughs> I know. I told you I'm bad at multitasking. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for a place here now. Oh, good. I know. I think I want to kind of be bi coastal. Okay, that's great. And where are you looking? Uh, looking in the West Village and Greenwich. I actually am kind of liking the East Village too. It's a little funkier, but I like it. Add some Madras curry powder. Okay, I've never made a vinegar and with curry powder. A pinch of sugar. Oh, sugar. Yeah, this is kind of in a little Indian flavor. And yeah, then you like can that. drizzle in the um, uh, the olive oil. Okay, I think I know. And your husband, Jonathan Silverman, how did you meet? We met at a barbecue. And I remember we met about noon. Do you want this whole thing? Oh, yeah, just, Kay. you know, just, but really whisk. Okay, sorry. Oh, there he is with you. Oh, and that's oh, you're on the float. So yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, he is cute. <laughs> we started talking at about noon, and I swear we didn't stop talking until about 2 in the morning. At the party? Yeah. I mean, they were kicking us out. Uh-huh. And I just had never had that kind of connection with someone before. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's an amazing man. So you, um, but you share your love of food, of travel, travel. and yeah. you eloped? We eloped. We went to, uh, we knew we wanted a destination wedding, and I'm, I'm not like a big wedding kind of gal. Um, they just make me nervous, and um, so we went to, we rented a house in Mykonos. Oh. And we invited our closest friends, and um, and it was the most beautiful thing. Everybody had something specific to do. My oldest friend, who's here today, actually, um, uh, conducted the ceremony with Johnny's oldest friend. Oh, great. And we were throwing shoes and breaking plates and just incorporating stuff from oh, nice. you know, every culture. Oh, yeah. great. Well, I've added almonds uh, and beautiful watercress leaves quarter of a cup of sliced radishes. It's so pretty and colorful. Mm. <gasps> this is great. A th uh, half a cup of pitted green olives. Those are the greenest olives I've ever they seen. They are. These are beautiful. <laughs> Serignola olives, I think. Yeah. And then, oh, some blue cheese. Um, half a cup of yeah. chunky blue cheese. This is great. And best, a half a cup of parsley leaves. And if you have other herbs in your garden or, or from the store, just put those in too. I'm just starting a, leaf. a garden, actually. And a half a cup of dried cherries. Okay. So this goes in too. Oh, I love dried and, cherries. Um, so you can drizzle a little. I wouldn't put all of that no, in. No, a lot. Here, you can use a little spoon here and just drizzle okay. in. Yeah. Drizzle yeah. in. You can do it. Okay. I'd say maybe two spoons of that. Okay. Yeah, I don't like yeah. an overdressed salad. Yeah, too much dressing. It sort of like masks the flavor of everything. Well, it'll also make it soggy. I can't believe I'm cooking with Martha Stewart. Yes. <laughs> this is my dream come Any true. Anytime. <laughs> so look how pretty. And... Um, and the watercress is dry, the dry, leaves are dry, not soggy wet. Okay. Um, and always been dry your salads, but doesn't that look pretty? It's just gorgeous. And healthy and yeah. beautiful. Yeah, with so, the soup too, yeah. perfect lunch. No, that is perfect. And, and it's also good for dinner too, if you want to grill something, a piece of fish. Mm. You have a, a very healthy and, and um, very delicious meal.